Saturday, June 24th, marks the one-year anniversary of the Supreme Court's ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade. Michael Anthony joins us to tell us more on what this has meant for reproductive procedures in North Dakota. Michael? Jody, in a 5-3 to three decision last year, the Supreme Court ruled there is no federal constitutional right to abortion. That meant that every state would have to decide for themselves on whether or not to allow abortions. In North Dakota, a Republican-led supermajority passed a bill in April that banned abortions past six weeks. That limit also includes those who are victims of rape and incest. Fargo Democratic Representative Carla Rose Hansen said the bill ignores a state Supreme Court ruling that provides a right to an abortion while attacking individual freedoms. North Dakotans do not want politicians interfering in their very deeply personal health care decisions. During the session, those in favor of the bill said it continues the state's tradition of protecting all life. This state has been uh, pro-life. We, we care for the mother and the unborn child and children obviously afterwards as well. When Governor Doug Burgum signed the bill, he said in a statement that it clarifies state law that was triggered into effect by the Dobbs decision and reaffirms North Dakota as a pro-life state. The legality of that law and the trigger law that was set to go into effect last year are being challenged in state court.